Right, well, I just uh, swapped the battery and it's the Pentax battery which I'm a bit worried about because uh, it's from the Pentax camera and I've noticed <laughs> little burn marks inside and I think, I don't know if it's fusing or what I'm just checking yep it might not have needed changing, was it chirping? But you know, because it's on a sort of return journey, and I'm going to stop in Saint Anne's for a, yeah, that's an idea. Instead of panicking about stopping here, I'm, I'm going to go to the pier, were not I, in Saint Anne's, and get a meal. Did you hear that zip then? I've purchased something. Guess what? <laughs> Five XL. Now, someone said to me that when you're wearing yellow or greenish yellow high vis, you're not necessarily seen because you blend into green things like a line of trees and people don't see, you know, yellow high vis. So, you see, I bought an orange high vis vest, $16.99. I just spotted this. It's a coincidence, isn't it? Another hornet. 900. Some nice bits on. Delkovic exhaust G17 EJD. And he's got them mirrors with the extra indicators on. Well, in fact, he's replaced his indicators with them. What a coincidence, rare about like a horn, and I'm parked next to one at the Fat Man's shop. Got them little tiny indicators on back. The luggage right though, that's nice, isn't it? I wonder if you could... Yeah, fit it with standard cans. What's that? Why? Is it still an ice cream or is it bird shit? It's in very good condition. Hmm. Well... You don't need slash cuts on them, Delkovic. What they sound like. 63 degrees, is that a more realistic temperature? Right, next stop, St. Anne's for a meal at the pier. And I'm hoping that that little fountain, not fountain, uh, waterfall's going, because it wasn't last time, they switched your bugger off. Hmm, stop, just from where my turning circle is. He stopped. Yeah, this is a paddy one, this uh, high vis jacket. So I'll also keep the drafts out and it's zipped rather than velcro, although my other was zipped. Yeah, keep all the little child's handies on crossings. Panicking them, weren't they? A little lad, we're going to run across the road. South Pier, family bun, bun, family fun fair. 80 tickets for £60. What tickets? Victorian Photo Studio. Laughing Donkey Family Bar. Ice Cream, Kelly's Hot Food, Coffee and Crepes. What's crepes? The Velvet Coast, I've never been in there, it always looks a bit packed. I must go in on my visit in June. So can you see, this laddie has got a high vis on, but is he very noticeable? No. Whereas I am, bright orange. Can you see, can you see? Sixteen ninety nine is not extortionate, it looks good quality. No inside pockets sadly, but there's a mobile phone pocket and some huge pockets on the front with a velcro tab on. So yes, it might not look cool, but uh, I think it's wise be seen, be safe. 
I keep saying I've had, I'm still alive after 35 years of biking. Next month will be 35 years since I bought my 125 in June 83. But saying that, will it tempt fate into something happening? <laughs> Stay more. <laughs> Just room, does that mean no brekkie? Vacancies, Colwyn Hotel. Have them boarded up ones been reopened? There were some. Well, have them boarded up, still bloody boarded up, silly son. No, but there was two or three and now there's just one. It's had a new build, Hilton. I just realised I've spent most of the cash I had Oh, is this a burned out one? i just spent all the cash I have on that uh, jacket So I to find the cash point Unless I just have a brew and go home I've got some barbecue chicken in the fridge waiting Yeah, I think I'll just have a, a coffee and go home rather than do the full tour that can wait I did mention earlier I was going to go up uh, to Lancaster then back through the Trough of Borland but just going back to the junction to get to uh, Not End there's a few miles down the road yeah, where is that windmill from here to find Blackpool Honda <laughs> I think uh, you can't get lost in Blackpool I think it's up there and instead of uh, turning off for the motorway you turn left but isn't that that funny little road which leads to the big car park in the centre of Blackpool I don't know another new estate they look like horrible boxes don't they they have turreted roofs to break up the... Oh, a couple have got turreted roofs. This was on the news this year. It said they're putting signs up saying no loitering in the Sanjin because lovey-dovey couples are going up to all sorts and they talk to an elderly couple. Oh yeah, the meerkats. He said, I beg your pardon. We call them the meerkats because heads keep popping up. While they're up to their activities, your head will pop up and then they carry on. And I thought, well, have they not always been uh, getting jiggy in the sand dunes? Probably just the same years ago. There was um, a documentary on telly about Blackpool, Sarah Lancashire, her of Coronation Street, talking about uh, you know, when her mum and dad used to take her when she was a young girl. And she was talking to an old chap. And she said, oh, they're all there. Uh, Courting couples under the piers at night, moans and groans. And he said, then they get the last train home and they take the light bulbs out of the ca <laughs> take the light bulb out of the carriages for a passion wagon for the journey back home. And they all groans and moans then. I thought, yeah, nothing changes, does it? I was thinking when I came here on the train to the bike meet, that's where my leather camera bag blew away with two SD cards in, but luckily I'd uploaded everything to my laptop. I didn't lose any pictures. Oh, then where's the turn off? Legs hurting again. Not so long since I was walking about. And whereabouts was that pond and the waterfall? Was it before or after the pier? I forgot. We'll soon find out, won't we? Wow. 
Well, as he's bracing, you see, I've done my <coughs> chest any better. <laughs> it was just a little cough. I think it might be the start of uh, hay fever. Not that I get it very badly these days. You meant to grow out of it. I was you know, terribly inflicted when I was young. Eyes streaming, eyes felt like they had bloody pepper in, sneezing like hell and coughing. This way to the beach. Police warning. Is your conduct appropriate? Yeah. Is that what they meant by humping in the sand dunes? Is your conduct appropriate? Unless it was uh, when it said illegal activities. Are they meeting prostitutes for a romp in the dunes? Ew. Is that illegal? I'm pleased to say there's been no clicking after watching that American's video with his sprocket clicking and someone said it's you need new bearings for the front sprocket drive spline. So hopefully it was just bedding in after all. Am I going down all these bloody bumps? I did that last time. Now then, pier. I'll find that waterfall grotto and film in there because I missed doing it last time. I imagine it looks lovely from inside. And then I'll go back up to the pier and see about some grub. See how much money I actually have. And if I've only got money for a brew, I'll have a brew and then go on. Via uh, Lytham Way, that quiet road. Very impressive, but very dangerous. How busy is the cafe? Hmm, not so bad. A couple of empty tables. Stopped a bit sudden then. Uh, Albert. Don't acknowledge me. Yeah. Well, they start here, don't they? Yeah. After the pier, from in our gardens. Oh, I know. So this is where I was walking last year. First thing is a Victorian fountain. Uh, it switched on. Yes. And where's the waterfall? After this junction. Not a lot of room on the promenade. Yeah, when I came last time, a chap, a parking attendant, come up and he said, oh, it's free on Sundays. I said, oh, good. Thank you very much. Got the waterfall again, turned off. What's up with him? What, have they any really motor packed up or what? I was thinking about going down to uh, the ice cream hut and having an ice cream. We should have a sit down meal for which I've no money anyway. I've got enough for an ice cream, I think. Yeah, I thought it'll go down to the ice cream hut. I don't feel tired. I mean, someone said, oh, if you don't have anything to eat, you will feel. 
you will feel tired oh, very nice little old lady in the sunshine so sorry but the waterfall is off no point stopping to film again must be a fault but easy to fix particularly new little water pump If you haven't seen my other video from last year, I walked around those uh, ponds and gardens and there's some koi carp or something in. And there's normally a waterfall and you can go behind it in like a, it's all a man-made grotto of course, but it looked very nice if it was working. And it's still really switched off. or broken and once again here we are George Formby's house that with the balcony and railings <laughs> still okay for fuel marvellous I don't know where is I think it's after that Keep left sign, turn off for the uh, stream van. Well, it's a kiosk. You know, I just sit on a bench last time, overlooking the sea. Somebody turn off. Oh well, that must be it here. Should be a big sign, shouldn't it? Oh, it's the <laughs> it's the next one, right? That's Fairhaven Lake, and that's a kiosk there with loads of bloody cars. Behind, good. Oh, she's paying display. My God. Oh, I'm saying, I'm paying nothing. Oh Lord, it'd be nice to sit on that bench. Oh, which is it? Up to an hour, £1.20. <laughs> Not exactly extortion, if you just want to stop and relax in the sunshine, you know, it's a long time, isn't it? I could get a takeaway, park on that gap on the promenade there, walk back, get an ice cream. And then, uh, oh, someone sat on that bench, only one bench. Oh no, there's one over there, two over there, empty. So, this is Fairy Evan Lake. They look dodgy, they're empty. Things that fill up with water when they're charging. Where did I walk before? The tire was out about a mile. It was further up near the pier, wasn't it? Because I was there for the bike meet. Right, well, I'll go and point me back. Well, 
up here, come out for an ice cream, go back to my bike. And sit on that bench. I do. <clears throat> well, change of planks. I just seen this bike here. I'm going to ask him is it pay on display, but uh, I'll knock the camera off, sod it. I'll eat my ice cream, stood up, and then go and sit on that bench with a drink. Bye for now. End of part four. <laughs>